this particular episode is a tribute to my father Hello there I'm Dr Purnendu Roy I'm a surgeon in Genesis Hospital One of the thing which I miss a lot is that my father could not see me becoming a doctor for that matter even a surgeon he was a doctor himself and the memories that i have would you believe if i say that even now i can't go to howrah station because every time when i went to catch the coromandel express to study to go to my medical college in jipma he would come to receive me and he would stand in one place and he would say i can't look at you you come and look at me there my father is no more late dr prabhat kumar roy because what actually happened you know he was a doctor in the railway hospital and that particular day he was only 50 i was studying in third year in jipmer in medical school he had some kind of a difference of opinion somebody said something to him he lost his school he started arguing he raised his voice he was diabetic and he was hypertensive now with that rage he came back home and what i heard from my mother that when he was trying to have the coffee the coffee started pouring from the angle of the mouth his face was twitching my mom said that your angle of the mouth looks deviated to one side there was some slurring of his speech but because he had this altercation in the hospital he did not allow any ambulance not a doctor to come unfortunately he lost his consciousness and he was taken to the hospital but he did not make it yes he died of cerebral hemorrhage and today's topic is going to be stroke So what is stroke how did the word come suddenly when something strikes you that is all on a sudden out of the blue now stroke means if the blood supply to the brain in any area is jeopardized so which means all the area of the brain each and every cell there are billions of them they all need oxygen and that supplied by the blood supply arteries which it goes now if it is blocked that area of the brain cells will die and this is what is called stroke depending upon the area the symptoms will be different just like in heart if the coronary artery is blocked by an embolus thromboembolisms then that area of the muscle of the heart dies that's myocardial infarction or heart attack and this is attack in the brain sudden strike and that's why it's called stroke it can happen in two ways one it is called ischemic stroke if there is a block by either a thrombus developing from atherosclerosis and the arterial supply gets blocked completely or if there is an embolus which comes from any other area and the second type is in case if it's a hemorrhagic stroke if the blood vessel ruptures either from a aneurysm in a small area or due to any other reason now the blood leaks out and it forms a hematoma in the brain and because the skull doesn't allow expansion that area of the brain tissue gets infected let's now try and understand the symptoms when will you suspect sudden confusional state sudden disturbance in one side vision or both side sudden difficulty in speech slurring of speech sometimes deviation of the angle of the mouth a distortion of the face a change in the smile 
while trying to drink something if it pours from the side of the angle of the mouth weakness in either upper or lower limb or left side any side of the limb and severe headache without any known cause or a person who's never used to have headache the headache is so severe that he's nauseous and can sometimes even throw up now we can categorize this into a very nice mnemonic when there is a suspicion of stroke you need to act fast f a s t so remember these four letters f a s t and if these signs are there t act fast immediately don't waste time don't waste time and call for help ambulance or a doctor so who are the people who are likely to get it usually uh, in the age group 60 65 it doesn't mean that the younger people will not get it so who are the ones who are susceptible if a person is diabetic if a person is uncontrolled hypertension if the person is smoker if the lipid profiles cholesterol and other things are very high and if the person is leading a very sedentary lifestyle no exercise and suffering enormous amount of stress whether at work or at home now do we ever try to analyze whether are we at a higher risk of stroke do you realize that once a stroke has taken place that side one side of the arm is gone that side is paralyzed your speech is also sometimes gone you got a slurring speech now once this has happened now if you say okay we will do the treatment so prevention is better than cure so what are the things can we prevent a stroke people say that 90% of the stroke probably could be prevented and do you know the numbers 15 million 15 15 million people develop stroke per year out of which 5 million die 5 million recover and another 5 million live with residual paralytic situations now if this is the number can we not see who are at higher risk can we not prevent it yes of course we can if you are a smoker stop smoking if you have got high blood pressure take care of pressure regularly and start medications have a controlled blood pressure if you are diabetic take control of the sugar people will not take care of the sugar not take care of the diabetes and then you're likely to get the complications of it in case if you have a desk job make a regular habit of at least 5 days in a week you do at least half an hour to 40 minutes of walking or exercise try to get rid of stress from your life enjoy be with us if these things can be done you could have probably prevented what is such a deadly situation but if this happens then what call for help the person has to be taken to the hospital immediately and that the first thing that they do is after doing a clinical examination you need to do imaging because we need to first establish from a scan ct scan or an mri scan that whether it is a thromboembolic stroke which means whether the blood supply has got blocked or is it a hemorrhagic stroke whether it is bleeding the first few minutes the most important so if the person is brought in the hospital and we have diagnosed there is a block then the person should be either given thrombolytic treatment it's also called a clot buster now this is iv tpa intravenous tissue plasminogen activator now when this is given this dissolves the clot and makes an opening so that the blood supply starts again now if 
it's late which means the IVTPA is not working the person is taken in the cath lab and the arterial access is done and from the blood vessels the clot is sucked out one can put a stent over there drug coated stent so that if there is a thrombus over there if there is a narrowing in the artery the stent can place can be placed over there and this helps to improve the blood circulation over there there is also a surgery which is called endarterectomy if we see in the carotid artery there is a narrowing due to atherosclerosis endarterectomy can be done to improve this now these all actually helps for ischemic stroke that means where the blood supply is good now what happens when there is hemorrhage it's like what actually happened to my dad he got angry his blood pressure went up the blood vessels ruptured so there is intracerebral hemorrhage it can have subarachnoid hemorrhage it can form a hematoma and on ct scan if we find certain things like that it may sometimes require surgery to evacuate the blood clot sometimes if there is aneurysm in circle of willis they can also be clipped they can be blocked in those areas so basically the surgery should be done early enough but then what happens if after that there is residual paralysis the next part is rehabilitation stroke rehabilitation unit and then gradually build up with physiotherapy but to sum it up i want to let people know recognize the warning signals sometime these symptoms will come and last for only a few hours and go away and this is called tia transient ischemic attacks which means all these symptoms of paralysis of one side of the mouth twitches weakness of the arm difficulty in vision it will come but it will recover which means it's a giving a warning that this is likely to proceed to stroke recognize these signs remember fast f a s t and then please don't lose your cool don't you ever lose your temper don't you ever harm yourself there are beautiful books on anger management try to negotiate try to look after your body learn about stroke so this video as i had said is a tribute to my father who lost his temper probably screamed at somebody lost his life i don't want anybody else to go through this again so you have seen all the warning signs symptoms of stroke try to get rid of all the bad habits eat proper food stop smoking think that you also have a family and if you have somebody elder who is not listening try to negotiate with them let 90% of the stroke which is preventable let us prevent this if you like this video please share it with others so that others come to know how to prevent stroke tell people who are the who are the ones who are at risk subscribe to my channel and keep watching for more such informative videos on health issues thank you very much